Solving equations and expanding brackets. We've got three questions we've got to solve an equation and one question we've got to expand a bracket. Um, again, this is quite late on the exam, but this is no nothing more than a grade E question. There's no difficult algebra here at all uh, if you practice this stuff. So the first one is just a missing number. What plus 9 is, is 19? And you don't really need to be pretty good at algebra to figure out that's 10. Um, solve this one. This one maybe a little bit trickier. Um, what times 2 is 17? Well essentially I need to just half the 17 or divide by 2 on 17 and half of 17 is going to be half of 10 is 5, half of 7 is 3 and a half so 8 and a half. Um, solving this one, now this is an interesting question because um, do see a lot of, of wrong answers here. Uh, standard wrong answer here would be to get 2 um, students see this divide by 4, assuming they realize this is divide. They see the 8, they do 8 divided by 4, which is 2. But when, if you realize and check your answer, um, like you could have here, if you put this number back in for y, in fact, let's do, use y equals and then x equals, I think, I think it actually matters whether you put those letters there or not, but um, that would be the correct thing to do. So 2y would be 2 lots of this, 2 lots of 8.5, 2 lots of 8 is 16, 2 lots of a half is 1. So that makes 17. So we know that's right. We know this is right because 10 plus 9 is 19. But this one, um, if we got that wrong answer, which was 2, and put it back in, 2 divided by 4 is clearly not 8. So we know we've gone wrong. So um, let's just rub those lines out. They shouldn't be there. So what's happening here? Well, if I think of a number, if, if, you, if you try to do these by thinking of a number, think of a number divided by 4 equals 8. So we learn to undo a divide by 4 by times in by 4. Okay, so we should just be doing 8 times 4, which is 32. Um, or you can think about what divided by 4 is 32 uh, is 8, and then hopefully you come to the answer 32. Um, all those worth 1 mark, so you've got to get it right, or there's nothing for it. Um, expanding a bracket, so we've got 3 lots of this. This isn't even a tricky expanding bracket, because it's just 3 lots of 2 plus t. You could think of this as 2 plus t plus 2 plus t plus 2 plus t because there's three of them and we've got three twos which are six and three t's which are three t um, but uh, when you're expanding brackets normally you're thinking about multiplying the, f the number by this first term and then by the second term whatever that is so we've got three times two and three times t six plus three t you have to get it all right to get one mark